on turning on my new Dell XPS 17 before it got to the desktop, it just prompted me for several options to set up, like security options, face recognition, or set up my fingerprint. And finally, it came to the registration screen. I registered. And next, it's just giving me a little bit more information about my Dell. I can view and click Explore to discover my device features and capabilities. By clicking there, I can get to know my device a little bit more. Windows and personalization. So a little bit about more Cortana, a little bit about Microsoft Edge, if you use that. Personally, I use Chrome. Okay, let's go back and explore further. Again, you can click Device and Software, and it talks about Dell Digital Delivery. Okay, I'm going to go back and continue with Wireless and Accessories. And I've already connected to the wireless network by putting in my router security code. So that's all finished. It talks about Wi-Fi. Okay, nothing else new there. And system health. Okay, protecting your computer from malware. This is kind of important here. Malware, uh, we know, is a malicious software, like a spyware, adware, viruses. Uh, you want to be careful about browser redirects, pop-ups, homepage changes, slow computer response. CPU, CPU usage is close to 100%. Uh, seems to be working overtime, virtual memory, low message. How can I protect against malware? Uh, your computer includes either McAfee or McAfee Live Safe. Now, I've been using ESET, but I am going to, you know, look it over and determine maybe just for now I'll leave McAfee in there, but I may uh, uninstall that and move back to ESET. You can also use Windows Defender. It's included with your Dell laptop. It scans for malware. So we're going to click the back arrow and let's go to Windows Tips. I like Windows Tips. So is your PC, run PC running a little slowly? Uh, speed things up with these tips. Let's click here. Okay, so for best P PC performance, it does like to run its updates. So make sure when you get a prompt for updates, you don't have to necessarily update it as soon as possible. You can uh, schedule it. So let's just continue and see what the next tip is. Start apps. Uh, can slow down your PC. Yeah, apps that open in the background when your PC uh, is starting can slow things down. So you can always check. You can go to Start, Settings, Apps, Startup, and turn off everything that you don't need. Uh, free up space to speed up your PC. Uh, low disk space can affect your PC's performance. So if you go to Start, Settings, System, Storage, to set up Storage Sense, it'll automatically free up space by re removing unnecessary files. How can you start your browser up to 41% faster? Startup Boost in Microsoft Edge maximizes your PC's performance by dramatically reducing the time it takes to open in the browser. In Microsoft Edge, go to Settings and More, etc. Now, personally, I don't use Microsoft Edge as much. I use Chrome, but it's nice to know that this is available if you need to boost your PC. Let's continue. For a faster PC, try Sleeping Tabs. Hmm, this is new. With sleeping tabs in Microsoft Edge, inactive tabs go to sleep after the amount of time you choose, freeing up CPU memory and help you make your PC faster. In Microsoft Edge, you go to Settings, More, System, and then under Save Resources, turn on Save Resources with sleeping tabs. That's something else to check out if you use Microsoft Edge. Balance battery with PC performance. Choose the battery mode that works for you. Get the best battery life, best performance, uh, or between the two. To change power modes quickly, select the battery icon on the taskbar uh, here, and you can adjust your power mode uh, for better performance. So because we uh, viewed all the six tips, uh, let's return back to the home page for the tips. Okay, uh, what's new tips? I'd like to see that. So let's go ahead into there. Stay up to date with uh, while staying in your flow. To quickly get in on the latest headlines, weather, sports, etc., open the news and interest on the taskbar. Okay, so that's uh, handy, and you know, you can always 
learn more here and see a little bit more on how that works. And if you do, it's going to open up in the browser and open up the uh, article so you can look further. So let's go to the next tip. What's your favorite mode? Okay, so you have, uh, if you select Start, Settings, Personalization, Colors, under Choose Your Color, you can select the color mode that you prefer. Choose Light or Dark Mode. So this is Light, and you probably saw the little animation. There's also the Dark Mode. Keep tabs while I'm sorry, keep tabs on your website tabs. Keep tabs on your website tabs. Oh my God, that's a tongue twister. When you're uh, on a frequently used website and have a lot of tabs open, that's definitely me. I have like 10, 20, who knows how many tabs open. Pin that site to your taskbar. Then hover, just hover over the pin to see a preview of the open tabs. Okay, that's you know possibly uh, something to try. To pin the website on taskbar in Microsoft Edge, go to settings, more. Uh, more tools pinned to taskbar. So that's something to try in Microsoft Edge. I noticed that Microsoft Edge is uh, highly promoted here, but I'd like to also check out Chrome to see, you know, maybe comparable commands to do that. Let's go down to the next tip. Quickly jump between open web pages with Alt Tab. This is by far my favorite, favorite trick in the whole world that I use all the time, Alt Tab. Just hold down the Alt key, and tap the tab key, just like that. And when you hold down the Alt key and tap a tab, it's going to, if you don't release, uh, just keep your finger on the Alt key, it's gonna let you scroll through what you have open and then release the Alt key to return to the window of your choosing. Okay, in this next tip, uh, you can have magnifier read text aloud. So you can use your uh, Windows logo key and the plus sign to turn on the magnifier and then you could uh, select text and uh, right click and have it read to you. That's pretty cool. Next, add emoji from your keyboard. One of my favorites. Press your logo key and a uh, period. Although I've done it with the uh, logo and a semicolon, but let's try the Windows plus a period. Okay, and here you go. Now, I've also turned the emoji keyboard on a different way. I've used, and I have a separate video on this. Let me go ahead and hit the Windows key to remove that. So there's another uh, touch keyboard uh, option that you can turn on on the uh, lower right. If you click on this little carrot top, right click actually, and select Show Touch Keyboard Button, you're then going to see a keyboard down here. Once you activate that, click the touch keyboard, then click the smiley face here, and you're going to see your full emoji keyboard, which you can activate and use whenever you're inside of an editor to add an emoji. Okay, uh, next Windows tip. Take a snip of what's on your screen. You can press your Windows key plus Shift S to open the snipping bar. Now, that's one way to snip your part of your screen, but I have to tell you, better than that is my favorite tool in the whole wide world, TechSmith Snagit. I would highly recommend that. But in a pinch, if you don't have Snagit, again, hold your Windows key, Shift S. Okay, draw shape to create a snip. So let's just snip a piece of this menu. Okay, and then it snipped it to the clipboard and then you would be able to paste it wherever you're pasting to. Okay, and that's the end of the Windows tip. So let's just close this here. And back, and that's all the tips that we reviewed when you start up your computer. I'm gonna close this and let's see, help us improve Dell performance. Okay, click on a highlighted button to assign an action. Dell multi. Oh, okay. So this is uh, because I have this mouse here uh, that came with my Dell. And uh, like I said, this mouse is okay, but honestly, I really like my Logitech mouse that 
um, I've been using for years, but I guess I'll use this for now and see how it goes. Uh, click on a highlighted button to assign an action. I'm okay with how it's working, so I don't really need to do anything. I'm just going to click here, return to my desktop. Now, before I end, I just want to show you a couple tricks. My favorite trick is to flip between... Uh, this and the start screen just either tap the Windows key on your keyboard or just click right in here and it will flip over to the uh, start menu now I like it where it has the full uh, tile screen so let me go ahead and show you how to flip over to that so this is what's called a hybrid start menu here this uh, might be the default that you'll notice for uh, new laptops or when you upgrade to Windows 10. So one way to get to uh, the personalization settings for the start menu, you click uh, settings here, and then you wanna go to personalization, and next you wanna click start, and for use start full screen, it's currently turned off, I wanna turn that on and then we'll exit from here actually I'll just close with the X and now when I click the Windows key on my keyboard or the Windows key here notice that this is the uh, full start screen with the tiles which I this is a brand new laptop so I haven't customized it yet but this is versus the original hybrid screen that you saw a moment ago so thanks for watching. I'll have more Windows 10 tips coming up soon. Don't forget to click the like button if you found this video helpful. Please also click the notifications bell so you don't miss another video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Bye now.